What's up guys, it's Jason over Think Gaming. Before I start today's video, I wanna give a shout out to Gamers HQ. This video isn't sponsored, but I wanna give a shout out to these guys. When I saw this gaming store, it's in Topeka, Kansas. I was like, damn, it looks nice. Now you can go ahead and go check out their Facebook right now. They're doing this giveaway. They're giving away two $50 gift cards and uh, every day in, in December. Now it's a little late, it's the 20 days of Christmas, so you got into December 20th. Check out their Facebook for more information. But I was just looking at it, it looks like their store's really stocked, it looks really nice. I really, I, could, I wish I could go there because they have a section that has all these like, you know, like uh, gaming TVs and, and shit like that. You can rent out the room, you can uh, pay by the hour, they even host tournaments there. It looks fucking awesome. I would totally support the store. Wish something like that was here in San Antonio, but ah, man, we don't have anything this cool. I just want to give a shout out to these guys because what they're doing is pretty awesome. But in today's video, I painted my PS5, the plates. Now for my base here, I ended up using Plasti Dip. The reason I went with Plasti Dip, just in case I didn't like the artwork or if I got bored with it or for whatever reason I wanted to go back to the original white PlayStation 5, I do have that option. So I went ahead and used that as my base. Now your first layer, you wanna do very light and every layer after that, do it pretty light. Don't go too heavy, you'll regret it. You'll start seeing the uneven coats and it just looks nasty, so be patient. Light coats and between coats, give it around 15 to 20 minutes for each to dry. Now you wanna flip over and you wanna get the inside cause some of the inside's gonna show. Now to be safe, you just at least wherever you see these little pegs, you know, just paint to them. If you wanna paint the whole shell, that's fine, but you really don't have to. It's only gonna show a portion. It's up to you, but be very patient, light coats and you'll get it. Now at the end, it should look something like this. You want a really nice coat. You want it to look dark. You want it to look good. At the end of it, I'm going to hit it with a clear coat to make the colors pop a little bit more, but we'll get to the, the painting of Kratos. Now, when I paint, I paint kind of funny. It's like Play-Doh, man. I mold it. Like I, I usually don't show people how I paint because it's kind of boring, but here's a messy little start right here. You see me, I'm drawing the head. It's eventually going to become a face. And the thing with me is like, it just gets better. Like I start seeing it the more I keep just doing layer after layer after layer. And that's the thing about airbrushing is that it's so thin that you can just do many layers over and over and you really can't make mistakes because you could just always fix them. That's what painting in general. That's the way I always see it. Now, I did use a sponge here because there's gonna be so many thin layers that this is gonna give like a texture. It's gonna give a certain look. Now, I do this with a lot of my artwork and I did go over it with a brush on certain parts that I wanted to pop out underneath the layers and eventually I'm gonna hit it with the airbrush. So it's not gonna make a difference, but this just helps me see things a little bit better and it helps certain colors just pop a little bit underneath the layers. It's just my little technique that I do. Now, I, what I ended up doing was I kept messing with it over and over until I became happy and eventually it started looking like Kratos. I started being a little more happy with it. And like at the end, like I said earlier, at the end I hit it with a, a clear coat because I wanted the colors to really pop. And then on the other end of the shell, I ended up putting a vinyl of the PlayStation logo. Just I thought it would match really good with that blue, that old school blue, the old school Kratos. I'm just an old school PlayStation fan. I was kind of happy with this, the way it came out. Check it out. So here it is guys, custom painted PS5. I gotta say, I was pretty happy with the outcome. The thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna peel it off. I'm kind of curious how, if I can peel it off, how, how it looks. Now this doesn't void your warranty. Sony's already said painting them isn't gonna void your warranty or anything like that. So I'm a little happy with that. Now I'm, I'm just really curious if the paint job's still gonna be the same, if it's gonna be original underneath it. I think it is. Should I peel it? Should I not? Let me know in the comment section below. If I get enough, peel it, I'll peel it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop a like. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'll be catching you guys soon. Peace out.